I don't know. Hey, another thing, Howard. Did you, uh, I mean, I hate to be a rat, but did you see what, uh, John, Stutter and John wrote on his Facebook page about, you know, the, uh, the ripoff stuff that's going on? Oh, really? Yeah. John responded? Yeah, somebody sent me that, but. You know what? I don't even know that it really is John, and if it is, he can go fuck himself. What did he it was write? Just like, Who you is know, this? There's, a, there's a bunch of... I've complained about Jay Leno taking a bunch of bits from this show. Mm -hmm. I can read it to you. I got it right in yeah. front of me. Yeah, I have it. You don't have to read hey, it. Howard, I can read just, it. Just so you know, some of the guys who are on a page with him just looked at it. It's, it's his stuff. Oh, it is his stuff. Okay. Uh -huh. So, like, I'm done with John now. Like, I've made some overtures to be friendly and stuff, but he can go fuck himself. He's he's become this... Uh, like he's, it's not even his argument to have. He's he's uh, telling people don't drink the Kool Aid. Howard, you know, says Jay ripped him off. Jay's never ripped Howard off. Like suddenly, John's an expert on me because he worked here as an intern. You know, he was stuttering, John, and now he's he's obviously he's obviously insecure. They took away the announcer's job from him, but he's still sucking Jay's balls because Jay's paying his salary for right. a writer's salary. And I think this is his way of sucking on to... Like, like, dude, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even be on the Jay Leno show. You never would have been introduced to, to show business. So, you know, mind your own business and shut the fuck up. I was good for you. Jay is good for you. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of it. But he's kind of defending Jay never stole anything. And, you know, that's just not true. He's no, going, he says uh, they, they started jaywalking on The Tonight Show before... Um, we did the homeless game. Get and, out of here. They weren't uh, even on. They're, they're, please. <laughs> and then he starts in with, the, I, I don't remember Howard ever doing the chicken bit where the chicken picked the, you know, picked football teams to win. Oh, he's got a spotty memory. And he's, he's, he's but you know what? He just shouldn't be involved in it. And I was kind of nice to him recently. I had him over to my home for dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Beth's that. friends with his wife. But, right. um, John's dead to me now. I don't want anything to do with John. John can just drop fucking dead. And after Jay fires him, which he will, because Jay wants to fire him already. Let's be honest. You think Jay really wants you as a writer, John? There's about a million fucking comics out there that blow you out the door. He's doing it because he took you off this show, you dumb fuck. And stop sticking up for Jay every minute. Just shut up. Stay out of it. It's none of your business. And you know what it is? John's probably nervous as shit, so he's inserting himself into this uh, argument. From now on, I will not talk about John. He can drop dead. Let's talk about something else. Go ahead. Hey, so what about, uh, what if Artie does one of these gigs coming up? I mean, uh, now, the fact of the matter is, uh, don't paint me, a guy who gave you a break in life, to be some little boy who cr cried wolf. I've got a pretty major fucking career going, John. When you have my kind of career, you fucking have a right to chime in. And, uh, despite your writer status now, now he's a writer. I've seen the shit you've written. I saw your movie, and I was nice enough not to comment on it, but it was a piece of shit. And just shut the fuck up. You have you don't you don't really have any business talking. And out of respect for your wife, I'll I'll fucking leave it at that because I could bury your fucking ass and talk about what's really going on. So just just calm the fuck down. Don't write about me. Be happy you met me. Be happy you got a break in life. And just shut the fuck up. Don't drink the Kool Aid, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Don't drink the Got a game? He managed not to drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah. He he's so smart <laughs> that he managed not to drink the Kool-Aid. Like just shut up. You had a lot of good years on this show and a lot of good things happened to you as a result of it. And now be quiet. And nobody's asking you. Yeah. Nobody asked you who ripped off anything. I know what I created. I know what I did on the show. And, and even though you're an expert on me and Jay, guess what? I'm a bigger expert on me than you are. So shut the fuck up. Because you really don't want to stir up a hornet's nest with me. Because I will go berserk, and you know it. Shut the fuck up. Use your head. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they took away the announcer job. Now he's, uh, he's holding on for dear life, but now he's Jay's big defender. Yeah, maybe maybe more sucking up will get you to hold on to your new job. Calm down. If that's how you're going to hold on to your job by bad mouthing me, you got another fucking thing coming to you. And don't fucking and just leave me the fuck alone. You're out. You're out of my life. You're Jay's problem now, not mine. Let him handle it. All right, thank you, Chump. That's the guy's name, Chump. Chump, yeah. Wow. I mean, uh, what are you making fun of that? You think that's a bad name? <laughs> think his parents loved him? Chump. Wow. His name is Chump.
That's it. That's what he was stuck with. <laughs> All right, I have to take a break.